How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time, we are reacting to how to build a Dyson Star, and this is the finale of our suggestion week. This one uh, was suggested to me by Ellie Sal. Pretty sure I got your name right, but there's a possibility that I butchered it, uh, like like I do with almost everybody's name. So, <laughs> uh, he wanted me to react to how to build a Dyson Star. He told me that it was one of his piece of fuzz he told me it was one of his favorite videos by uh in a nutshell and i was like i am 100 percent on board because he just told me it was from in a nutshell and i was like yes i'm doing it so without any further ado i want to watch this video so here is how to build a dyson sphere the ultimate magma structure mega structure human history is told by the energy we use and first we had to mmo use game muscles then we learned to control fire we industrialized the world using coal and oil and that entered the escalated atomic quickly when we learned how to split a nucleus at each step we increased Yay. our energy harvest to a scale never seen before and advanced as a species currently we're slowly transitioning to renewables and if we're lucky fusion energy will become viable in the future fusion energy as humanity progresses Just sounds further, cool if we don't destroy ourselves or our habitat we will likely gain complete control of our planet's resources nice at that stage we'll probably begin to look outwards for new places to expand <laughs> even into. the boat <laughs> but space is hard and establishing a serious human presence in the solar system will require ungodly amounts of energy Luckily, we know where to find it. The sun, yes. the ultimate source of energy. A furnace 100 quintillion times more powerful than our most efficient nuclear Damn. reactor. It shines with the energy of a trillion nuclear bombs per second. Okay. So how do we a get flashbacks to the nuclear bomb Not episode? Some of it, all of it. Did you just say all of the sun's energy? Isn't that bad for Everybody? If we want to collect the most energy physically possible, we'll have to build the largest, most ambitious structure in the universe. Wow. The Dyson Sphere. A mega structure that encompasses a whole star to capture its power output. Oh. For an intelligent species, building a Dyson Sphere is a technological leap on a par with the discovery of fire for our ancestors. Nice. The transition from a planetary species to an interstellar species. It would usher in an age of exploration and expansion on a scale oh, we can barely man. imagine. This is so, so cool. What would it look like? A sphere, a I'm assuming? Enveloping the sun is probably not the way to go. Oh no. A large rigid body like that would be vulnerable to impacts, possibly shattering. It would be liable to drift and could crash straight into the sun. That's a no-no. A more viable design for a Dyson Sphere might be a Dyson Swarm, an enormous set of orbiting panels that collect the sun's oh, power. Oh, this and is so cool. Elsewhere. Such a swarm would give humanity basically unlimited energy. Unlimited but power! It won't be easy. The sun is very big, so yes. it needs a lot of satellites. If each satellite is a square kilometer, we'd need around 30 quadrillion to surround the sun. A lot. Even if they're built as lightly as possible, we need about 100 quintillion tons of material. My and God. And then we need the energy to actually oh. put the parts together and deliver no, them to the positions around the sun. <laughs> On top of all that, we need to have a permanent infrastructure set up in space to start building. Let's assume for the purposes of this video that our descendants will take care of that and want to create the megastructure. We can sort the challenges into three main categories. Materials, design, and energy. Okay. To get the vast amounts of raw materials required for our Dyson Swarm, we'll have to largely disassemble a whole planet. Of the planet, a whole available, planet. Mercury is the best candidate. Okay. It's the closest to the sun and very metal rich. Okay. Close to the sun also means less moving stuff around. And Mercury has no atmosphere and only about a third of the surface gravity of Earth, making it comparatively easy to launch material huh. into space. So Mercury is like Next, the ideal spot. We should consider the design of our swarm. Simpler is better. Yes. Conventional solar panels are far too intricate and short lived. Our satellites need to operate without repairs or intervention for astronomically long times, and they need to be cheap to produce. Yes. They're most likely going to be enormous mirrors, which refocus sunlight to central collecting stations, like in concentrated solar power on Earth. Oh my god, that's so much. To build so and much. them efficiently, they must be incredibly light. 
Paint made of little more than polished metal. My computer can't handle this. Supports. And last, we need the energy to build and launch the swarm itself. Taking apart a planet and launching things into space requires an enormous amount of energy. <laughs> Do example, a roll. If we used all the fossil fuels and uranium on Earth, and we were perfectly efficient, we could only launch as much mass as Mount Everest into space. That's still an a accomplishment. A accomplishment compared to planetary disassembly. Well, just to shut me down there. Needed to build a Dyson sphere. It's almost as if you're going to need the power output of a Dyson sphere. Huh? But that's okay. There's plenty that's of okay. sunlight to be had on Mercury, so let's get to work. All right, Humans let's do this. Are expensive to keep alive and are very sensitive to the environment. Aww. So we'd want to automate as much as possible. Ideally, we'd have a small crew of controllers who oversee an army of autonomous machines doing the actual Why work. do you kill birds, man? <laughs> there are four major pieces of technology required. Solar collectors, miners, refiners, and launch equipment. Okay. The solar collectors are going to give us the energy we need to disassemble the planet. To start, maybe we deploy something like one square kilometer of them, either as mirrors or as traditional... Please stop doing this. My They'll computer can't handle that much stuff. Miners, which strip mine the surface of the planet, and our refiners, which extract valuable elements and fabricate them into our swarm satellites. Okay. To get them into space, we need a creative and efficient solution. Rockets are too expensive and difficult to deorbit and reuse. Yeah. Instead, we'll want to use a sort of railgun, a long okay. electromagnetic track which launches our satellites at high speeds. Our swarm satellites would be packed tight for launch, unfurling like an enormous origami yes. once in orbit. From this point, we can take advantage of exponential growth, using the energy oh, of the existing okay. parts of the swarm to build more So start little and build your and way up. And launch new panels faster and faster. Yeah, okay, I got you. provides the energy to build another. Those two work together to and build And they just the keep multiplying, two. yeah. Four become eight, eight become sixteen, and so on. Within so smart. Within 60 doubling times, the sun would be completely surrounded by solar panels. And this can happen quickly. If a square kilometer of solar collectors takes a month to build, we could be done in a decade. If only nice. the infrastructure on the planet's surface can keep up with the quickly growing oh, no. energy. <laughs> Even collecting 1% of the sun's energy is an unbelievable change in our species' energy budget. For real. We could create the infrastructure to beam like Tony Stark over here. amounts of energy around the solar system for all sorts of projects. That is so Colonies cool. Colonies on other worlds, terraforming planets, constructing more megastructures, or even traveling to other stars. It could be the start of an interstellar That's civilization. That's so cool! Based on physics alone, this is not just possible, but easy. It's such easy. a simple process and such a necessary step for any species to expand beyond then their let's get to it. that many astronomers think there are probably Dyson spheres already out there in the Milky Way. We I mean, the Milky Way is huge. Yet, but they could be there. It's far from certain that humanity will ever get to this point. Aww. Our attention is too often focused on short-term political gains and conflicts that exactly. will matter in the long run. For real. But if we survive Stupid the challenges humans. we've set ourselves, yeah, we, we really could messed potentially up. become the first species in the universe to create a structure with the scope of a star. If we do it, the only limitation left will be our own imagination. That is so cool. We've just hit you with a lot of pretty wild claims and crazy concepts. If you're like us and enjoy using the power of science I to, really in love ways to it. destroy stuff, you Wait, no, not to destroy it. you can come up with something like that yourself. I was gonna say I, I really Brilliant. enjoy this. this. Problem solving. Oh, okay. This is the ad. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want the ad. So, <laughs> but oh my god, this was so amazing. Like, but then like the end kind of made me mad because I'm like, well, if it's easy, why don't humans do it already? But. He made a valid point there. It, uh, we're too busy on the now that we don't focus on the long run at all. Like politics and blah, blah, blah. It's just so stupid. So stupid. We could be, oh, we could be so amazing as humans if we just have unlimited energy and we work together and no war and stuff. And I might be sounding like a hippie, but <laughs> this is stuff I believe in. Like, why why do we fight like we're all humans i don't okay i'm i'm, I'm gonna stop there because i don't want to open up that can uh but yes this video is so good i love i could totally understand why it was your favorite and you suggested it to me this was i really enjoyed this just the possibility aspect of this is just 
so huge. It's crazy. We could... We could be awesome. Like, I don't know what else word to say. Like, it would be so amazing if we actually do this and have just unlimited energy. Don't have to worry about, like, fossil fuels running out and just... It would like crank up solar power to freaking maximum and break the knob. But yes, I am. Oh, this video made me so excited for the possibilities that we're probably never going to see. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days.